This is going to be my quick first one minute intro to windsurf. I haven't used it yet. Up and until today, I've been using Cursor, the AI code editor, and it's totally changed how I've coded. Recently, I've heard from people like Xerox Designer and Dillstack that they've been using windsurf and they've been preferring it. So this is just my first attempt to try it. I've already downloaded it. And what I'm going to do is uh, I've got instructions in here for updating fam. Right now, fam has two transactions. First, I create a community, and then I create a hypersub, and I want to wrap those into one transaction with multi-call. And so I'm going to try to see if Windsurf can handle that. This is what I usually do in cursor. I define out the goal. I define out a current state, and then I write out the steps that I think it needs to take. And if I reference any thing that it will need, I'll then go and add it, in this case, an ABI. I'm going to just do what I would do in cursor, which is come over to the right side and then say, please uh, summarize my at instructions and tell me how you plan, plan to implement. Let's just see what it does. Contracts first create a multi call ABI implement. Yep, this function prepare necessary calls. Finally, I'll integrate. Yep, let me start implementing these changes. Awesome. Now, let me examine the current uh, hook to understand how to integrate the functionality. Now, I'll modify the hook to implement the multi call functionality. Looks like it's auto save changes and my server is re rendered. It's made the following changes it added the ABI. Add the multi call three and hyper sub factory addresses to your constants. Yeah, you're right. Um, I forgot to give it that address. Resources. Multi call three address on all chains. Uh, and now let's review those two files that it changed. So it first created this ABI file. This is pretty normal. I gave it this file, so I'm glad it was able to do exactly what I sent inside of the hook. Because right now I'm seeing a whole lot of errors. And now say at VM. And I would love to be able to add a new doc, but right now I'm not seeing an ability to add a new doc. Tries to encode also the hyper sub factory creating. I don't know if that's correct. It then makes an array of calls, target, allow, failure, call data. Looks generally directionally correct. Wallet client dot write contract, it needs the address for the chain, gets the ABI, aggregate three, and then the calls. Looks about right, overall directionally. Um, maybe performing at about the same level as cursor. It didn't suggest things like updating buttons, because uh, I, th I, I think it updated the hook, What the function that's being exported from the hook, but I don't think it updated the buttons that are calling this hook. In which case, I won't even be able to sign the first transaction. And then we, this should, okay, we got an error saying, yeah, that's not a function. So, so far it's only broken my code. It looked pretty and it updated really fast, but I don't know if I need to index the code base or what, but the current cascade, um, did not did not help too much so far looked pretty worked fast i'm going to play with it for the rest of today and i might have some different takes but my initial take is cursor worked better out of the box uh, with the global search and taking global context whereas right now it feels like windsurf kind of followed the exact instructions i gave it and did not really analyze other libraries like vm or did not analyze the other books or libraries that i was already using to kind of connect the changes that it was making to the rest of the existing application. I highly recommend all devs to try out both Windsurf and Cursor to determine for themselves in your use case and how what your relationship is with the code that you're writing, which assistant is better. Because before this, I would run into Cursor's limits, even with using their $20 paid tier, and I would get frustrated at ah, I'm totally restricted by just using Cursor. Now that I also have Windsurf, I now have an alternative. If I hit a limit on one, 
I have the opportunity to go to another, which allows us as developers to continue to have power to, to bring costs down to keep our tools inexpensive and accessible. So try them both out, figure it out for yourself. And if you have any thoughts, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you. Have a good day.